قاف کف لم ف with your teeth top teeth to the bottom lip ف قاف کف لم So how do we distinguish between قاف and كف So uh, Off, as you can see in this picture, uh, you will engage the back of your tongue, which is where you swallow. So if you imagine yourself swallowing, you know, that's where cough is. It's all the way at the back. And um, so you need to engage that area. Cough. Cough. And then you will hear the difference between cough and calf because calf is basically the same as the English uh, K so off the back of your tongue off almost swallowing off and then kef 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 lamb just lift your tongue lamb lamb l l Allah l Lem. So here they are at the beginning of words. Fe, gof. They have the same form uh, almost at the beginning. Kef is changing. And you can see the letter kef if you see it in its full form at the bottom. Um, there's inside of it. Of, uh, of it there's the small calf and that's the part that you see when it's being connected calf and then the lamb as it's connecting you will in the beginning get it confused with the alif but remember alif will not connect to what's after it and the lamb will okay and then in the middle uh, fe off they're connecting on both sides calf connects on both sides and so does lamb Again, distinguish lamb from aleph because aleph will not connect to what comes after it. And then they, at the end, uh, taking back their full forms. Fat, 